time today, which is, you know, it's definitely something. Web coming in, coming in strong from New Jersey, up and comer, I want to say, doing really, really well in losing his finals. Uh, knocked out from winner's side. Going to be fighting uh, Hydra, who just beat, uh, what's his face, Beast. What's his face, Beast, new team. W H F. Yeah, what's his face? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's we just see both these players just narrowing across each other's shields, uh, trying to get the space and trying to get their early percent combo starters and getting uh, getting that momentum rolling across such a stage like Town and City. Plenty of space to move on this stage. And both of these characters have plenty of the airs we can move around with. And a preference towards a defensive game plan. We finally see a Nair Lion, but that's only to uh, to even up the percent count as Webb was able to nickel and dime uh, pretty effectively in the early game. Yeah. Um, so something I'm noticing is Webb has a really good idea of how Hydra is going to be approaching. Um, and he's trying to get like a lot of baits and punishes, but he's just uh, being a tick too late with them. Like we're noticing Hydra have enough time to be able to land the shield. So I would like to see maybe some mix-ups with Grab, or just to uh, time his aerials just a frame or two soon. And yeah, what, what Hydra is uh, doing and what uh, Ray was able to do pretty well is that Webb uh, oftentimes will, oh no, oh, hold that, that, hold that so thought, close. but he made that, he made that back, I was surprised. Uh, in the mean, as I was saying, the uh, web frequently lands with something like PK fire or with an aerial if uh, you see a like a dash up coming from his opponent. But by just that dashing, that was so good. That was, oh, was so good. Crazy. That was like I, I don't know if Hydra knew that the platform was going to be coming at that specific time, but it looked like he was anticipating it from years away because he landed on it so perfectly. He was able to get back onto the stage as a result. And now look at that. He is fighting for his life at the corner, spacing himself just outside the range of the PK-5. But you're able to, uh, to pretty frequently uh, time the platforms coming in as long as you keep track of uh, the alternating uh, which layout it is because as soon as the background stops, uh, that's when the platforms start to come in. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's actually really interesting. I didn't know that. I'm gonna remember that to myself. So like when when it like stops rolling around the rolling. Yeah. So like it'll rolling. stop here and then the platforms will come in like once the once the bottom starts to ride. Wow. Webb's air drift was impeccable, spacing himself just outside of the explosive frame and timing that air dodge so well too. All for not though. Gonna be hit with a back air. Um, how you gonna be taking the first stock? I love that teleport. Webb was definitely not anticipating that. But that's going to be the PK fire to take us off, and it is now an even game. Yeah, Webb's PK fire snipes are so potent throughout this entire like bracket, where he's putting them just at like full hop range, or when they're falling, like with, after using their air dodge, like just to either apply extra pressure or at 144 percent, it's going to find those kills too, and puts Lucas at such a min minimal risk but a high reward situation. Oh my god. Hydra was, like, Hydra was like, do it, do it. Come on, big boy. I want you to I want you to answer me. What are you gonna do? I have this thing. You can't do anything. He just, like, he just kept pressuring him all the way to the point. That was menacing. But Lucas's damage output puts him at such a high lead at this point. And Lucas able to really control space a lot better than Palutena is sometimes. Palutena forced to rely on her speed, while Lucas has a little bit more like disjointed pressure with his PK fire and uh, with his massive fare, so. That was interesting from Webb. He was anticipating the teleport onto the platform, but wasn't expecting um, Hydra to actually get the teleport cancel and be able to jump. So he went for the preemptive drag down there. I appreciate the effort, but obviously did not connect. Um, next time he should just uh, try to go for uh, a read or uh, something like that. Nope. That's completely Ro up to Rope Snake goes crazy far, much further than I always anticipate, because I see Palutena dashing away. Rope Snake just snatches her right up, grabs her by the hair. That was, or I, I like that a lot. He landed safely on uh, Hydra's shield and instead of like backing up defensively, he's like, you know what? I'm going to do the fun question see what Hydra's going to do. I doubt that Hydra is ready to uh, react to this fast option. Yeah, this is something I saw with like, Hydra's wolf frequently as well, where sometimes he just fall into, like, I'm going to hit like Nair and Fair on your shield and like, one of them will hit and then I can do my combo. Mm -hmm. It's like he sometimes like I guess I would call it like a sort of autopiloting mode. 
What a good piece. That was that was very very nice. Oh yeah, Webb's Webb's been able to put pressure off, of but like, he plays the ledge offensively, which is really interesting because in every game that's not melee, like, ledge is such a mm -hmm. disadvantageous situation. But he's using the movement options that he gets off of ledge and the fact that it resets all of his uh, all of his uh, movement abilities really well. Yeah, that DI was really good on the backfield, surprisingly be able to live so late. And look at that, able to get past all of those neutral A's. I love the way that Web. I mean, Lucas is effectively like a blockchain character, right? He's going to land on your shield and it's going to be a mix up of like, what kind of attack is he going to throw out next? Is he going to roll? Is he going to grab? Um, and I think Web's mix ups this game were so on point. Always one step above Hydra. Hydra needs to get into <gasps> Ouch. That took the wind out of me. Okay. Oh, I was hoping we'd get the kill screen where he's pulling the needle, because then he's like doing the up smash in the kill screen. It's like, look, you got hit by this. I thought it'd be funny. But that up smash was sick. He noticed the fact that uh, he noticed the fact that Hydra really likes to initiate. I mean, like that's a general Palutena thing of like being in short hop distance in the air, but then also uh, trying to land on top of Lucas and. Up smash is one of the only moves in the game that can kind of punish that just because of the fact that uh, Lucas gets, what is it, intangibility on sign up? Uh, no, it's armor. It's armor? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he gets, he gets armor on the startup, so he was just able to armor through. I swear to God, I saw him armor through um, like one or two of the multi hits of the nail and then able to yoink up the up smash. Well, that's what Hydra had been doing and what I was mentioning earlier about like a, like a form of what looked like autopiloting in some uh, situations where he would just short hop over his shield and let then let these nares rock and like try and catch it try and catch web jumping and then yeah. web would just hit in shield but that time he decided to up smash out a shield or just i forgot if he dropped shield or not but just like no stop jumping over me like a madman like you're gonna get punished for this update from chat apparently lucas up smash has seven frames of invincibility it is invincibility oh so let's go just, I just want to double check that really, really quick. Thanks, chat. Yeah, invincible through 1 through 7. And head intangibility on 15 through 29. So basically, not only does Lucas get invincibility, but then his head is also nice and protected throughout the movie. Right. It's a far cry from Lucas's old up smash and 4 and Brawl, where they were pretty much useless. Yeah, it was fantastic. Meanwhile, like 78% right from the start, Lucas is a uh, web is chilling out of deficit. I like However, to drop Smashville, keeping the stage small. Obviously, Palutena will find it easy to stay in when Lucas's ideal gameplay is a close to keep Palutena at slightly past mid range. That's a downfield back in. Web's gonna eat that. Already, one stock down, only 28%. Real Animal Crossing vibes coming through. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have an utility. But wow, what a bounce coming through in order to grab the legend, miss time, force a miss time off of that uh, down tilt as he trains uh, Palutain across the stage with this road snake conversion. I see the PK freeze again, like to make Hudge go back off, not uh, letting him commit super deep, forcing him to go back just a little bit. That was super, super good. Catching the cross up fairly, noticing that he was going to try to drift inwards. Very nice adaptation from Hydra. Yeah, instead of leading with these nares and these fares and letting uh, Webb cross him up pretty consistently, he's instead trying to lead with back air more and put his back to, put his back mm -hmm. to Webb in shield so when he crosses up, he can still get the standing grab. Yeah, no, absolutely. And back air is so much more difficult to punish than that's the down throw. Down tilt, excuse me, into the back air. What a lead for Hydra right now. What a complete reversal from game one. Right, yeah, just narrowing in front, making Webb sit in shield on ledge. Being threatening in his space. As, wow, like he barely passed 100%. Webb is already 52 on his third final stock. Yeah. What an answer. I'm noticing that this time Webb is struggling to get the damage on. Every single time that he's hitting Hydra's shield, we're seeing a lot more mix-ups come out. I'm seeing jumps come from Hydra. I'm seeing standing grabs come from shield. Look at that. He, before, he would either just hold shield or he would be all out aggressively. This time, he just went for the full hop out of shield, knowing that Webb would try to keep on applying pressure. What a dominant game, too. That was, that was just, I mean, 
body. Too bad. Like, he like shoved it up a little bit. He did re grab right there because like I was I'm pointing this out like across a couple of games. Like Webb is always aggressive, and a couple of those times he's been forced to re grab because his aggression wouldn't land. And f like finally, instead of going for a down tilt or just going for a reset of a situation, Hydra goes for this hard punish that sometime, sometime it was going to happen sometime soon, given how many re grabs he did in the previous couple games. Yeah, that was. Game three is going to be a tight one, though. Both sides taking games one and two fairly convincingly. So this game three is going to be a slugfest. Yeah. For game three, it's going to be really interesting to see how Webb is able to come back from this because, like, winning game one like that, but then losing the momentum, right? So whoever, like, takes game one, they obviously, like, have the advantage in coming in with momentum into the next game. To have that momentum be so quickly taken from you and thrown away, like, it requires, like, a lot of mental fortitude to be able to come back from a loss like that. I'll end it so here if Webb is able to pull this through, if Webb is able to pull this through, um, like like it's it's gonna be very very amazing. If Hydra is able to take this game, he rode with his momentum very very well. So it'll be interesting to see who's gonna take the uh, the next game. I love the the default chatter. I'll end it here, going for a flashy attack. It's a good aesthetic. Oh. It'll be it'll be interesting how Webb rebounds though if he and as well as the stage picks because thanks to the wider stage uh, the wider stage list something wide and something long is definitely going to be open so a stage will definitely be be more favoring towards Lucas I doubt we'll see town and city again Maybe yeah no, no there's no reason there's no Two, one, all right. Go! I guess it's like, it's FD Town or Kalos. Like, it's one of those three. And you ban Kalos and FD. Like, this stage is probably the best one for Palu out of the three of those, I guess. Trying to convert the back into the down air loops. Unable to find them though. Just uh, gonna directional air dodge off. No, he's totally fine. He can still live that. I'm interested to see why Hydra doesn't go down for the drop down counter in this matchup. That's why. See it working quite well. That's what I was just about to mention. Like with that air dodge so deep off stage, like, even if he will have the distance to make it back to ledge, don't let him come back to ledge. Like drop zone air is still pretty good. So. Yeah, um, um, because it, the PK Thunder is a multi-hitting move, I'm interested to see how it does interact with the counter, as opposed to Ness's PK Thunder, which is just a single hitting move. He just dashed right through thanks to the uh, tether cancel. That was super nice. Tries to go for. Um, oh, he missed it. Oh, yeah, he missed, missed his zero strength there. Um, you could theoretically snake, haha, your opponent all the way to the other side of the stage. Gotta feel so clever through that one. Haha. Uh -huh. Because Lucas uses a snake. Rope snakes. Rope snakes are the most clutch thing in other. Far enough. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Web healing for just a little bit there, and pushing Palutena back off stage with the explosive flame, matching it out of hit stun, and getting the getting the distance in order to uh, take the Web's final or uh, th first stop rather. Hydra is able to come back to stage against Lucas. How well Lucas is a very potent ledge trapper, but that doesn't really matter if you're able to invalidate his play by coming back onto semi stage. That's gonna be the down. I'm sorry that I mumble. I just, you can see, you can see Webb maybe sort of trying to fish for the grab a little bit, like the way that he's like slowly inching towards the ledge. You see him kind of want to back heel a little bit, an F heel perhaps. Oh, he missed time to grab. He was still okay. in the middle of that. Mm, okay, it looked a little bit awkward just because of like how yeah. long the Palutena's arms stay out there, but yeah, no, that was that was nice and honest. Yes. It's a did lot the, of footsies. Lag on you? No, I I'm not seeing any lag on mine. I'm just seeing a lot of footsies coming out from uh, both Hydra and and Web. Not trying to lose these stocks. Not trying to. Uh, 
give up the advantage since both these characters have just crazy damage output. And oh, hello. There you are, Dara. Yeah, this is gonna be a struggle for Webb to try to come back now. Uh, doesn't actually get the down tilt off because uh, Webb slightly stalled by bouncing on the side of Smashville. That's gonna be the long range explosive thing to take out the stock. Explosive um, claim is coming in super clutch for Hydra throughout a lot of these games because, like, it's he it's worth it for to keep throwing it out because he's not healing so much off of it like any other like energy based projectile. It's only three percent, two percent. So, and the reward you're getting off of it is like ten percent or death in that case. Mm -hmm. So it's worth it. Getting the down double up a little bit of damage. This is so difficult. Try to land against Palutena in this instance. Not sure about the neutral B though. I think he wanted to use like the Beagle Base neutral B for a little bit of extra drift. Almost getting yoinked by that explosive flame. Going to get up attack right into the shield, but not going to get a uh, significant response for it. Yeah, he was facing the wrong way, trying to go for that. Uh, the classic back throw, just standing at like. But as he's coming down with a lot of these aerials, like, Webb is forced to come in and get always being stuffed out because it's like back air is invincible or fair is just too quick. There's a lot to about there. <gasps> just getting hit by the tip of the explosive flame, but... reacting just in time to be able to DI it, getting that extra little tiny boost of health. Um, you know, every single little bit counts at this point. You know, like, every single little bit could mean, like, you're gonna live one more hit, and if you could live just one more hit, you know, it becomes, like, everything becomes possible. <gasps> Almost getting the that was so nice. Catching the panic roll. Well, did he panic roll? Uh, I believe so, yeah, he rolled. He checked in place, he, 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 Yeah, he checked in place, which allowed the fair to miss, uh, then he rolled in, and how, uh, Hydra caught it with a runoff platform, ju double jump fair. Great, great coverage coming out from Hydra, knowing that uh, uh, reacting to his fair missing, but still being in advent in an advantageous spot and pushing for that kill when he could get it, thanks to the dangerous situation that Webb found him in. As Hydra will be moving on into grand finals to play against Utopian Ray in the yeah. run back. It's gonna be the run back, I believe. In winner's side, Ray took it very cleanly. Um. No, 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 no. Hydra, remember taking the first game, right? 